Now, question 33 says, the figure represents a flower garden. It's in the shape of a quarter circle of radius, 7 meter and a trapezium. What is the area of the flower garden? Now, now, in order to find it, first of all, let's consider the shape, the trapezium. Now, this is our trapezium. So, we are going to consider the two shapes. So, from here to here, it's um, 12. And here to here, it's going to be, what, 21. Now, for the trapezium, this area is going to be half times sum of parallel sides times height. So, this is going to be half times... Now, this is 12 plus 21 multiplied by the height, which is what? 7. This is the same thing as half times 12 plus 21 is going to give us um, that um, 33 times 7. Now, when you multiply this, you are going to get 33 times 7 is 231 divided by 2, which is going to give us 115.5. Now, I'll put uh, my area, that's meter square. Now, for the same, the, for the circle part, which is uh, a quarter circle, so I'm going to bring this part out. Now, this is 7 meters. Now, to find the area will be pi r squared divided by 4. Now, why are we dividing by 4? Remember, a full circle, it's... Um, made up of uh, that's a whole circle so for you to get a quarter circle you need to divide by four so this means we're going to do 22 over 7 multiplied by the radius is uh, 7 times 7 all divided by 4 so 7 will cancel 7 this will be give us 22 times 7 all over 4 now this is going to give us um 38 0.5 meter squared. So for us to get the area, we'll sum up 115.5 plus 38.5. So this is going to give us um, when you sum this up, you're going to get 154 meter squared. So the correct answer here is going to be C. Now, when you want to attempt this kind of question, you need to consider the two shapes because you are looking for the area covered. Okay, so our next question says, what is the value of, okay, that's the question. So, we're going to do um, 0 0.3 plus, uh, here, I'm going to have, uh, now, 0 0.4 is the same thing as 4 over 10 divided by, 0 0.25 is the same thing as 1 over 4, all divided by 0 0.2. So, in order to evaluate this, this would be 0 0.3 plus, now, this is 4 over 10 times um, 4 over 1 okay so all divided by um, this would be 0 0.2 so this will give me 0 0.3 plus now 4 over 10 will give me um, that's um, 0 0.4 times 4 all divided by 0 0.2 so this is going to give me 0 0.3 now plus 0 0.4 times 4 is going to give me 1.6 all divided by 0 0.2. So this is going to give me um, that um, 1.9 divided by 0 0.2. So in order to multiply this, I'm going to multiply both up by 10 and I'll multiply down by 10. So this is going to give me 19 divided by 2 and 19 divided by 2 is going to give me 9.5. So as easy as that you can solve these questions so if this is your first time of coming to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get more videos from us okay so this question says the table below shows a bus timetable from yeri to mombasa now um it, the, that's the table so we need the question says how long does the bus take to travel from nairobi to void now, in order to solve this, the first thing you need to do um, now, from Nairobi to Voi, notice, from Nairobi, it will move to, uh, it will move to Ande, then to Voi. So, for us to solve this, say from Nairobi to Ande, it will move from 9.45 a.m. 
to 2.30 p.m. And between this time, it's uh, 4 hours 45 minutes. Okay? Now, at Ande, arrival time is 2.30 and departure time is 2.30. So, at Ande, it will spend extra 30 minutes. Okay? So, you need to know this. Then, from Ande to Voy. Okay? Okay, so for... From Ande to Voy, this is going to be uh, 3 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. So this is going to be a journey of uh, 2 hours and 15 minutes. So now we are going to sum all the time in brackets. That's this plus this plus this. So we'll sum these three. And when you sum this, this is 4 hours, um, this is 2 hours, that's 6 hours. 15 plus 45 minutes is going to add 1 hour, that's 7 hours plus 30, that's the total is going to give us 7 hours, 30 minutes. So our correct answer here, it's um, B. So question 36 says, the perimeter of a rectangular piece of land is 8 56 meters. The length of the land is 298 meters. What is the width? Now, for you to solve this question, you need to have a diagram. Okay, so this is my diagram. Now, my length is 298. This is my width. And my perimeter, which is equal to 298. Now, remember that your perimeter is um, 2 times length plus width. So, this is uh, 856 is equal to 2 times now our length is what 298 plus w this is going to be 856 is equal to uh 596 plus 2w so i'll collect my like terms this will be 856 this coming over becomes minus 596 is equal to 2w so this subtract this is going to give me 260 is equal to 2w. Therefore, my width will be 260 divided by 2. And that's going to give me 130 meters. So my correct answer here is going to be A. Question 37 says, Otieno invested 15,000 shillings in a financial institution. The institution paid a compound interest at a rate of 6% per annum. How much money did Otieno have in the institution altogether after two years? Now, notice this is a compound interest question, so you have to be careful. So, uh, in order to find this, let's apply our formula for simple interest first. Now, for the first year, it's going to be a PTR over 100, which will be 15,000 times the time. Uh, that's for the first year times the rate is what that's six all over hundred. So double zero cancel double zero. Fifteen times six is going to give us uh, nine hundred. Now, what you need to now know it's uh, capital principal for second year principal for second year will be fifteen thousand plus 900 which will give us 15900 so for second year it will be 15900 times the second year times 6 all divided by 100 so double zero cancel double zero 159 times 6 is going to give us uh, this will give us 954 so his total cash is going to be um, the principal for the second year plus 954. That will be 159 plus 954. Now, when you sum this up, you are going to get the 16854. So, this is the total money he's going to have. So, for you to get his total money, you need to sum up his principal for the second year plus what the second year gave him. So the correct answer here, it's uh, A.